Hi guys, I'm back and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a DIY hide. This is good for reptiles like leopard geckos. It's not good for things that or animals that need humid enclosures such as um hermit crabs cuz then this stuff will just go back to its normal state of moldable clay. I'm using this one. I'm not sure actually the brand. I think this is the brand. Uh, I'm using something different so I don't know exactly how to focus on this. But that's a pretty good focus. Um, or it's this. Or it's plus. But... Um, I'm going to be using this, and what you saw on the front was simply me boiling rocks. They're limestone rocks. It was from a big, like, limestone slab that I hammered up. It wasn't that big. It was just, like, around the size, actually, but more in a triangle shape. Anyways, um, I was boiling those so that they're sanitary. If you want to see my other video, if, if you want to know how to sanitize rocks or driftwood or normal wood, um, go to my channel Clover Dees and you can see the videos on how to properly sanitize um, wood or driftwood and how to properly sanitize rocks for your hermit crab tank. I said that but it can really be for any enclosure. And I've been trying to make this video for like an hour almost now, and every single time I try to, something goes wrong, and I have to start over. So, yeah. Anyways, we have our clay, and the surface is just pretty much two cardboard pieces I'm going to use as a surface, and I have some paper towels. So let's get started. To start, I turned off the burner and poured all the water and rocks into a strainer. Then put them from the strainer onto here. Still pretty hot, like I wouldn't want to hold on to them, but they're okay to touch for a little bit as long as you're moving them around. Um, so let's just look at them. There's a bunch of little bits and pieces and big ones. Like, there's a giant difference between these two. There. While that's happening, I'm grabbing a paper plate, and then I'm going to open this up and put it on the paper plate so that it's not on cardboard. Let's do it. A better knife works just fine to open it. have a piece open and I can get the rest open by myself. That's a pretty big amount of clay. Alright, so I'm gonna get an amount that I think I'm gonna use and put it here. It's hard to do one handed. There. There's about half of it left. I might use more, I might use less, who knows. But there it is. Let's put the rest aside. 
and start figuring it out. So now I have two piles of rocks also. The small ones and the big ones, they're cool enough to touch, for sure. All right, so let's start the design. All right. I'm gonna start by making a kind of like, I'm just gonna start by getting a piece off, grabbing a big rock. These are now all boiled. Okay, that seems like a good one. And I'm gonna start kind of bringing stuff around it like that. I want rock pieces inside of it, so there is going to be the showing. It's going to be more blended in, though, like that. Um, sorry for the quality of the video. All right, that looks interesting, I guess. Maybe if you could see it better, it would be better. All right, let's find another smaller one like this. I'm gonna put that here on the side and it's gonna kind of go like this. Get some more. And I'm gonna push stuff in here. There we go. So now I'm just kind of trying to figure out how I'm going to put it. This is all natural air dry clay. So there's no problem with having it in a leopard gecko enclosure. There we go. Now it's starting to kind of take a shape. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to start making like a top because it's going to be a kind of shallow one. I'm going to use some of these pieces. Put some clay around. And put this in. Put some more clay over. I'm going to put this in now. Ah. I need to put something here to make the opening separate. Take it off. Start on the other side. Any way, any side. Sorry, you can't see it right now. Um, there. So now I have this rock area spot that's Separate, well, not separate, it's still attached, but it's stuck around. So I'm going to push this in. There we go, and then do that. Put some clay in there. Put this in here. This is part of the platform oh, top. Very strong. So this is going to be part of the ceiling. Oh, then you got the big gigantic mess in here. Like 
one room to the next. This is actually my first time ever putting something like this together, and that's why you can't really see this. I'm also using a phone instead of my tablet, so I can't just set it up. So now it, this is the roof so far, and there's a hole in there. I'm going to patch it up and make sure it's nice and strong now. Alright, so now I'm going to start putting it together completely and as I patch it up. Mostly kind of making everything look nicer and be strong and bonded together. Because there are some parts that aren't as strong right now. And I don't want this to dry before I'm ready for it to dry. I don't know how long it'll take. But it's going to take a big amount of time, probably. There we go. So that's going to be the opening hole. Now, separately, I'm going to be starting to just kind of figure out what my plan is. I still have all this that I said I'd probably use. So, this is a pretty good start. I used a lot of the rocks, mostly for texture, but also so that I don't have to use as much clay at a time. There we go. Um, it also could be more sturdy this way, and it is definitely a big enough hide for both of them to be in, so it's going to be good for one of them. Um, I'm pretty sure I said, but if not, this is going to be for our leopard gecko hopeful. I might make one for snow too, though. I'm not sure. So I'm going to be kind of deciding how the back there's going to be a back spot with some ledges how that's going to be first I need something I think I'm going to use this rock and it needs to go somewhere to get up so I'm going to grab a piece of this it's fairly flat that's there I'm able to put this rock there also I think I'm gonna take off some of that actually to put the rock on and then because of there's a whole spot here I'll put the there and then push this on I want this to be really nice and sturdy and I'm not even sure how this is going to turn out at all because this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. So, who knows? On the back side, I know you can't see that, but there is um, a giraffe sort of gap here. So... I do want to make sure that that gets filled in, so I'm going to use some more clay. And just kind of smudge the clay that's on the back side around. Get a little more.
I want there to be enough angles that it's not just going to come out. There we go. Alright, so now I'm going to go to making this stuff up here. I just had to make that a little more smooth. There. Alright. First there's just going to be a little ledge-like thing. Sort of like this. So this is going to go somewhere like that. Making this sort of ledge hide. Alright, now I'm going to put some stuff on the sides to just kind of make sure that it's held up nicely. Like that. like this. And just kind of bonding them together. You can see there's a little hole. Okay, now that I've pretty much bonded it together, I'm going to make a way to get up here. And before I do that, I want to kind of make this a little more secret. So there's going to be a piece of clay that's going like this, but it's going to go all the way above. So there's going to be a whole area under it that, you, that the leopard geckos can crawl in and out. So this is going to kind of go across there while they have their own area to get in. So that's kind of an area that I can't get out in or out. I can't get them in or out of. So they're going to have to go. They're able to get in there if they want to be away from us and things like that. So let's attach it. There we go. So it's that tall, but they have to get in through this area, and I'm not going to be able to take them out that way. So that's pretty nice. So now I really do have to get an area for them to get up there. So I think that's actually going to be, like, beside it. But I also want to make sure that this is going to fit in their enclosure. This is 
the current cold tide. Let's compare them. Okay, I'm going to line them up like this and look at that. So if there could be something a little bit bigger than this and this is still smaller than this, I should be good. All right. So I think I'm going to make something this way slanted to get up here, but I'll actually, that's what I was thinking, but now I'm thinking something here and then going this way would be nicer. So let's do that. I've made a piece that's going to go there. Now I just have to attach it. It's gonna go like this to go up to here. And there's going to be something a little bit around here. Um, it's not going to be big though. I'm literally just going to use like, probably like that tall. Alright, so now that's attached. So there's this side. There's a way to get in here. And then there's a way to go around up here. It's not much of a difference and they could easily get up. I am going to make this area a little rounded. There we go. I'm going to add a little bit of a walkway thing there and then something around this area and here, but not there because they need to get up there. I added the ramp thingy here. And then it goes to there. And then I'm going to add it around this area. And then I think this might be done. This is gonna be in sections. That's the first section. I'm gonna see if I can show you what I do to make the next section. All right. So first I take a piece of clay, I roll it out. This is going to take a little, alright, there we go, I got it pretty thin, and then I fold it to make a good size. That makes that sort of line in between. And then you want to get a little bit of water and put it on the bottom side, that way it'll stick. Alright, let me do that. Very little bit. Alright. Then you're going to want to attach that. I'm putting my finger under here so that when I attach it, it'll stay. And then I'm using the back of my nail to push down like that. And then to attach these sides, I'm just going to kind of push them together. There we go. So I'm not kind of debating on if I should make another hide spot here or not. I don't think I'm going to. All right, let's check hide space. This is definitely going to be better and more complex and add height. So yeah, this one's still bigger and this is still, might not look the best yet, but there's one hide, two hides, a walkway to get to here and up to here and it has a, lots of elevation. This one, the only thing you can really do, it, they can only walk up here, and then the hide's good itself, though. But this is going to be better. I'd show you the inside, but I don't even know what it looks like yet, because I can't look inside until it's dry. Who knows how long it's going to take to dry, but it'll dry. This is all natural clay. All right. Let's do this piece. I did it and then I folded it. 
I rolled it out and then I folded it. There we go. So that's going to go here. Like that, and then it'll be ready. So I made this um thing. I put water on it, rolled it, and now I just have to attach it. I'm sorry you saw that setting it up, the camera, and blah, 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 blah. Anyways, um, that's because I thought the video was paused, and it wasn't. This always happens to me. Okay. I'm putting a little more water there. Roll over in this corner. To make sure this sticks nicely. There we go. So we have one height. There's a walkway up to another height that is this as tall as this, like this tall. But there's this here so that it's for a secret, and, and then there's this walkway with a railing thing up here to that. Oops. <laughs> Let's see if she'll go up and not go this way. I think I'm going to add in a longer side so that she can't get up this way. She is going up there. Railing's mostly just for look, not for her to not go over it. Except for this thing, that's just so that she can figure out that this is a place she can actually go. This is Hopal, the leopard gecko that's going to be using the hide. So I elevated the sides and put this sort of thing on a tube spot. You gotta turn it on first though. All right, so I think this is almost done. I put this here to support this ramp while it's drying. So here's the sizes. And I think I'm actually going to make this spot up here a little bigger. I ended up taking down that thing because um, it was bothering how I was able to put this thing up to expand it. So now I need to support this more. And to do that, I have to put something here. All right, so I supported it here. And then now I need to add the ramping again, the railing. All right, so bottom, middle, side tunnel to the top. I ended up deciding that I don't want to put a railing here because then the leopard gecko's enclosure will look less Maybe, maybe, like, less, I don't know how to say it. It'll look na more naturally. I don't really want it to look really natural. Um, but 
I think it looks better this way. All right, so I don't want her to go down there right now because I wouldn't be able to get her out and this isn't in the enclosure. So I'm gonna put the rock there and see what she wants to do here. Or go around it. Now I added um, this thing, so now there's this piece there. They're also going to be able to go back under here, so I actually might make another hidey area there. Who knows? Okay, so yeah, I added a wall area here so that there's an opening over there. Right here. Then they can get inside of that. This whole thing is done now. Now it just needs to dry. I put that there. Just now you can see height difference. The, er, width and stuff difference. And then for height, I'll go to the side here. They're almost the same height, except this one has levels. And so three hides, the one here, the one up there, and then the one over there on the back. And then it has a stair walkway like thing, which is a good spot that the leopard geckos could just hang out on. And then there's a spot up here. This one all only has one hiding spot. It is bigger though. And then a way to get up here. Honestly, I've never seen a leopard gecko up here, but still. So, yeah. Here it is. I'm going to let it dry, and then it'll be ready. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you got some ideas, or just liked watching it itself. Um, like I said, I'm using a phone instead of my camera, so it is a bit different. Thanks for watching the video. This is Clover, out.